Hi, it's Cranky Craig with your Cranky Craig movie reviews, although I'm not doing movie reviews this week. Uh, I'm talking about some streaming. A lot of us are stuck inside because of the grueling weather. We don't want to go to the movies, can't get to the movies. A lot of people um, have spent a lot of time at home because they've been home for the holiday of Thanksgiving. A lot of people are at home because they're putting up decorations. Perfect time to catch up on streaming. Uh, I'm going to talk about three shows that I kind of like and why I like them. So I'm not going to be super cranky, so sorry about that, but hang on because I'm sure there's going to be something I hate next week. Um, I purposely picked three shows that are in the first or second season only so that if you're like, hey, I haven't heard of that show, I'm going to binge it, it won't take very long. Um, the first show I want to talk about is Shrinking. This is a comedy in Apple TV+. Plus. Shrinking is a great show. It kind of got lost in the Ted Lasso hoopla, hoopla, hoopla or whatever. Ted Lasso got so much praise and it was so over the top with the praise. But um, it's just as good, in my opinion, in different ways. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, it's a good time to catch up. It revolves around three psychiatrists who run an office, and it's about their clients, their neighbors, their children, their affairs, their, their uh, love life, and a lot about their clients. The original premise has Jason Segel, who was one of the creators, playing a psychiatrist whose wife recently died. And he's grief-stricken, and as a result of being grief-stricken, he kind of goes off the rails and starts telling his clients, don't do that, do this, do this, you're being an idiot, all the things you're not supposed to sell to tell the clients. The second season kind of evolves a little bit uh, past that. Uh, the other psychiatrists are played by Jessica Williams, who actually did get an Emmy nomination the first season. Uh, she managed to knock that out, even though she was competing with such other big shows like Ted Lasso. She is hysterical as, a, as um, Jason Segel's colleague, um, I can't, uh, her performance is so inventive and so interesting. I don't know what she's been in before, but this is certainly the best part I've ever seen her in. Um, the third shrink is played by Harrison Ford, no other than Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford really goes against the grain here. He's got to be 80 now. He plays this sort of grumpy, lethargic uh, uh, psychiatrist with Parkinson's disease who's really cynical. His delivery is just so quiet. It's almost like... Uh, you can't even hear it. He does such a great job. He's such a contrast to Jason's manic personality. Uh, there's some other really great ca uh, cast members in this. Uh, Krista Miller uh, plays uh, Jason's kind of nosy neighbor who's always butting in. It's trying to, uh, to get him to do everything different with his life. And Michael Urie, who was so funny and ugly baddie, it's great to see him back as uh, Jason Segel's best friend, a lawyer, who comes in really handy. Um, another principal is an actor we probably haven't heard of before called Luke Tenney, who plays one of Jason Segel's clients that has PTSD from serving and has rage problems. And it doesn't sound funny, but it is funny. Uh, it, it's a really great show because uh, it's all about relationships and people and getting along and overcoming problems. It has a lot to do with grief and dealing with feelings in a very way and it manages to ride this fine line between warm and funny but not sickly sweet i highly recommend it uh there's some really big laughs in it it's so well acted um you can find it on apple tv plus and it's the second season uh i want to talk about two netflix shows right now netflix hasn't been my friend the last year or so i thought some of their content was getting kind of like you know just stale they have so many shows it's hard to find good shows on netflix really hard to find but they got two good ones right now. I recommend a very new show called A Man on the Inside with Ted uh, Danson. I don't know what Ted Danson is drinking or what he's doing or who he be a promised, uh, who he made a pact with, but he picks great material. You're talking about a man who's had four hit sitcoms and all the material is really good. And this is no exception. This is such a gentle comedy about a man who's retired and is lonely and is looking for purpose in life and becomes an undercover spy um, in a retirement home. It sounds implausible. It's a really funny. It has a great ensemble class. Most of these people you haven't heard of before. It's created by the same man who created The Good Place, Michael Shore. It's actually based on a documentary that's really funny called The Mole Agent about a true story about an elderly man who goes into a, a retirement home. This show is really gentle and really warm and it'll put a smile on your face. It's such a great, uh, it's so great to see elderly people or older people portrayed in such positive light and some of the specific problems they go through, health, loneliness, 
separation and um, it really rocks and it's really good and it's so easy to watch and it's not offensive and um, I highly recommend it. This is a show that had no buzz and now it has great word of mouth. Uh, that's on Netflix. It's the first season. My favorite show right now is this show called The Diplomat on Netflix. Listen, I think, first of all, I want to marry Carrie Russell. I think she's one of the most underrated actresses ever. I mean, she's been nominated for a bunch of Emmys. Give her the Emmy already. I, such an intelligent, interesting performer who is subtle, not bad to look at, really good to look at. And she plays a woman who's sort of thrust into this position as an ambassador to the UK. This show is about politics. It's about relationships. The dialogue is so fast and so interesting and so intelligent. This supportive cast is very diverse as far as uh, ethnicity. It all takes place in London. And it's like going on vacation in London. They were able to secure real locations. Uh, you know, uh, the Commons Building, uh, St. Paul's Cathedral. It's just... It's really sophisticated, but yet there's an element of uh, just, it's just a well-oiled machine, and it has an incredible cliffhanger for season two. Um, again, you might be a little sick of politics, which you, so you might not want to watch it, but it's all done so well, and so, um, it's such a great show to feature a strong female lead character that tries to do the right thing and always doesn't, and I, I just can't recommend it enough. It's not a lot of episodes to get behind, and you might want to put the uh, subtitles on because most of the cast is British. All of the cast is amazing. Some of their names I can't pronounce, so I'm not going to, but I can't recommend it enough. I love Carrie Russell. Uh, I think she could read a phone book, and she would be great. Anyway, those are the three shows, Shrinking Apple Plus TV, A Man on the Inside, Netflix, and The Diplomat, Netflix. And uh, I'll be back next week with some more movie reviews. You can find them all on Craig's to-do list at www.nytv.com.